Today we are going to make a catapult. It is going to be easy and lightweight. This one is one inch by two inches. Okay. Have an adult, after you've had an adult, cut the wood ha, for this for the base. For the sides, have three feet long, two three feet long pieces, and then for the ends, have one foot long. And then hammer it together with hammer and nails. Once you've got the base nailed together, you need two two foot long pieces for the side braces. Now mark the two side pieces on the base at 13 inches on both sides for the side braces. Once you've got the side braces on, you'll need two diagonal braces that are 28 inches long. So now that you've got the braces done, you make two holes that are in the side braces and you want it to be pretty tight so at least big enough that a dowel can fit through and then you're going to make a hole about 10 inches from here and, and make it pretty big so that I can swing and it's pretty loose and the swinging arm should be about 40 inches long now we're going to get some cardboard that, so that the projectile has a smooth surface to slide on at the beginning. And now we are going to assemble the part that holds the projectile. We put an eye hook here and an eye hook here. Now we put a nail right here and take the head off and make sure it's slightly forward. Then you get 24 inches of string and tie it to some fabric then 27 inches of string and you put an eye hook on the end and that will attach right here. Now we are going to do the release mechanism. What we do is we have an eye hook here and a little thing right here attached to some string. What you do is you put this in this eye hook then when you want to release you pull the string and it will fly. <laughs> this catapult is powered by weight, so the final step is to attach a weight to this end, whatever you may have, and just make sure that it fits between the two braces so it has room to swing. Now that we've loaded it, we're going to pull the string to release it and see how it goes. After trial and error, um, you may want to cinch the sides in on the fabric to make like a little pocket because then the ball will stay in and will launch it further.